welcome back to my channel. So today I have three really easy and simple breakfast ideas for you for back to school. So all of these breakfasts are kind of like cereal-ish breakfasts because we all know that having cereal is probably one of the easiest and quickest ways to have breakfast. So I've decided to add a few little things and make them a little bit more fancy so they're more enticing to make. And they're still gonna save you a lot of time, especially if you prepare at nighttime. I feel like preparing things at nighttime before the next morning is totally key to being super organized and on time. So I have these breakfasts for you and I really hope you enjoy it. Today's video is also a collaboration with my really good friend Daddy, who has three back to school lunches for you. So I will have a link to her channel in the description. Make sure you check it out and subscribe to her because she makes amazing videos. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any more videos. And let's go ahead and get into the three back to school breakfasts. So the first breakfast today is the basic wheat bix. I'm not sure what they're called in other countries, but it's basically just like a wheat biscuit and they're really healthy for you. So to take this really basic breakfast and turn it into something a little bit more interesting, I have decided to cut up a banana and a handful of strawberries. This is also going to get a head start on your daily intake for your fruit as well. And so I'm just placing four of the wheat bix into a bowl. You could have as many as you like. And then I'm going to use quite a good amount of rice milk, mostly because I like rice milk and the the wheat bix really soak it up and then I'm just going to pop all of the fruit into the bowl as well as you can see it's quite a large bowl so it's very filling and it's super healthy there's no sugar or anything like that because you can get the sweetness from the fruit and I found this incredibly delicious so that is my first breakfast for today My next breakfast is some classic porridge as well. So I'm going to start by chopping up about half of a green apple and then I'm going to use about a cup of instant oats to a little bit over, I'd say, three quarters of a cup of water and I'm just going to mix it together and pop it in the microwave. Once it is out of the microwave, I'm gonna give it a good stir. I do like to add a little bit of rice milk as well just because it's something that I've always done when having porridge. So I've gone ahead and done that as well. And then to make this a little bit more tasty, I'm going to sprinkle on some brown sugar. I feel like brown sugar is my favorite of all the kinds of sugars. And then I'm also going to use some rice syrup, which is kind of like honey, but it is vegan because it's made out of rice and it's really delicious as well so I like to use this instead of having honey and then I'm just going to pop a few slices of the apple into the porridge and then you can have the rest of the apples just off to the side as well but again you're getting the start on your fruit for the day and it's quite healthy as well. So the last breakfast is something that I have not made in so long and that is a chia pudding. They're so easy to make and you can make them the night before. So I've done one third of a cup of chia seeds. Really, I should have done like two thirds of a cup of milk. I didn't put enough milk in, but you pour the milk in and you mix it all together and then you go ahead and pop it in the fridge and you let the chia seeds soak up the milk so they kind of become puffy and a lot more softer. I also forgot to put vanilla extract in when I first started. So once it had soaked up, I went ahead and put in some vanilla extract and mixed it all together. As you can see, it's a little bit kind of tough and some of the seeds on top didn't soak up the milk because I didn't have enough milk. But just to top it off, I'm going to place in some peaches like from a tub or a can. They like do peaches in tubs now. Strange to me because they're always a can as a kid. And then to top it off, I'm going to put on some coconut flakes as well. And I just thought this was a really simple, really delicious breakfast and you can totally prepare everything the night before. So you can even just pull the pudding straight out and put the stuff on top. Really, really easy. And I miss eating these. my three back to school breakfasts. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, they were kind of cereal-ish related, really simple, but kind of interesting at the same time. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos. And up the top here, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I will have a link to my back to school lunches video because I made one of those as well. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be tomorrow. So make sure you check back at the same time. Bye.